everyone and welcome back to Contra Health Scan. So today we are going to talk about Halky Diabetes Remedy by Eric Whitfield. Now this product is a scam and in this video you are going to find out all the information you need to know about this product and reasons why you should keep your distance from it. So without wasting much of our time, let's begin. Alright, here we are at Halky Diabetes Remedy website and as you can see this uh, pop-up blocking us here telling us to either read the text version or keep watching the video so we're not really going to watch the video or even read the text because i've already done all the work for you and it's really a very long presentation that will keep you here for at least an hour before they will let you go but if you still prefer to read you can click on this link and it will take you straight to the you know the text version of the website where you see the first claim my wife was 30 minutes from a fetal diabetic coma until I discovered the 60 second habit that reversed her type 2 diabetes and melted away 56 pounds of fat and also discovered the real cause of diabetes okay and it's not what to eat according to them so the presentation goes on and on and on and on and on but we're not really going to scroll down through this very long presentation so because of course we don't want to hurt your eyes that's not the reason why I'm making this video the reason is to pass you the information in the most pleasant way possible so scrolling down this very long presentation will run you know contrary to that goal so without wasting much of our time we'll just head to contrahealthscam.com because they have already done all the review work for you and all you need to know is right there on the website so let's go straight to contrahealthscam.com all right so here we are at contrahealthscam.com and as you can see from the review title Halky Diabetes Remedy is a Scam Honest Review and from the review summary here you can see that it has just a 2 over 10 rating for the following reasons author identity and qualifications is a 0 over 10 because the author is just a paid actor who does not exist okay so scientific basis of the program is a 1 over 10 and you will find out about it okay later on when we go through the major parts of the review so presentation of the program is zero over 10 because it's coming advertising testimonial is a zero over 10 because there are no credible testimonials that you should believe about the program and finally pricing is a nine over 10 because it costs just 37 dollars so for these reasons the pros just has one because it's cheap and then cons the author does not exist is a paid actor the main testimonial the author's wife does not exist fake testimonials with stolen photos this honestly misrepresents scientific research to sell scam and finally scammy advertising so now let's head to the major parts of the review where you find out all you need to know about this product okay so how key diabetes remedy has been around since at least february 2018 it claims to have the 60 second habit that will instantly reverse your type 2 diabetes According to Whitfield, that's the so-called author of the program, his wife, Cathy, used this same habit to reverse her diabetes and lose 56 pounds of fat in just three weeks. And she was able to achieve this without changing her diet, doing any exercise or taking diabetic medications. All she had to do was to do the 60 second ritual twice a day using ingredients you can easily pick up from your local grocery store. Okay, so he keeps on making more claims. Okay, like now, on top of that, Whitfield claims that he had discovered the real cause of type 2 diabetes, which the diabetes industry has been maliciously hiding from you in order to keep selling you dangerous drugs. He says that he says that type 2 diabetes has nothing to do with your diet, exercise, age, or even genetics, but it has to do with a certain little known but highly dangerous toxin that is found in every corner of the earth but thanks to the 60 second habit only known to the inhabitants of a small barely populated asian island we now can flush out this toxin and reverse our diabetes in no time okay so it keeps on going on and on and actually wrote the backstory kind of retold it because it's very important for you to understand why i call this program a scam okay so i will recommend you to read this backstory very well because it will help you into understanding why this program is a scam and because of time i'm not really going to read it here in this video 
uh, but I'll leave the link to this review as usual in the description box and the comment section so that you can go for yourself and read it properly. But for now, let's just head straight to the main reasons why I call this a scam. Okay. But before then, let's talk about the so-called science behind the program. Whitfield claims that on researching the food ingredients Alexander from the backstory, you know, Alexander, according to the backstory, is one of the natives of uh, Halki Island in Greece who gave him this, uh, uh, this secret that he used to, you know, help his wife beat type 2 diabetes. So read the backstory and you understand who this Alexander is. But let's just continue, okay, with the science. So Whitfield claims that on researching the food ingredients Alexander gave him, he discovered a study that reported that the root cause of insulin resistance is a toxin named particulate matter, aka PM2.5. According to him, PM2.5 is a complex mixture of toxic metals from industries which are invisible and are inhaled as air droplets. Whitfield goes on to make the following claims. Number one, a study conducted two years ago by the American Diabetes Association on 3,080 patients with an average age of 56 linked long-term exposure to PM2.5 to increase insulin resistance. In addition, they also noted the abnormally higher cases of hypertension, stroke, myocardial infarction, and increased medication intake in these participants. Another study by Dr. Timothy Otol and his team, published in the National Institute of Environmental Health Sciences, found that insulin resistance was significantly reduced in mice with low exposure to PM2.5. And finally, a 2018 study published in Lancet Planetary Health by researchers from Washington University School of Medicine and St. Luke's Healthcare System found that PM2.5 exposure is directly linked to an increased risk of diabetes globally. Not only that, but the scientists also concluded that in 2017, pay attention to this, all 3.2 million cases of new diabetes were due to dangerous air pollution. This finding, Whitfield continues, is the reason why he claims that your diabetes isn't caused by your diet, age, or genetics. It's all about air pollution, which by the way, you can't escape from. But don't fret, he assures, because he now has the perfect recipes from the tiny Greek island of Halki to the rescue. Okay, so now I talked about the ingredients here, but I'm not really going to waste my time talking about it because uh, knowing that this product is a scam, it, it, no, it no longer matters. Okay, so let's just move straight now to the main reasons why this Halki diabetes remedy is a scam. First of all, Eric Whitfield does not exist. The man calling himself Eric Whitfield in the video presentation calls himself a 53-year-old iron worker who lives with his wife, Kathy, in Owego, New York. He also gave us additional info about himself. He has two children, three grandchildren. He participated in the cleanup after 9-11. Okay? But other than that, Whitfield is not found anywhere on social media so that he his potential customers can at least interact with him. However, I'm pretty sure that the guy in the video is not even Whitfield, but he's a paid actor hired to read the script. This is not the first time I've seen this and it will not be the last time I'm going to see it. Okay, so this guy now, he was the one talking in the video pretending to be Eric Whitfield, but from experience, I can tell you that this is not Eric Whitfield. Okay, this guy is just a paid actor and he's very clear from the presentation that he's reading from a teleprompter or some cues, who knows what they used in the video there. So I'm pretty 100% sure that we're not dealing with the real person behind this product, okay? It's just a paid actor, nothing else. Anyway, secondly and most importantly, Katy, which is supposed to be this man's wife, does not exist. And unlike this paid actor thing, which is based on experience, this one is based on hard facts. Okay, and I'm going to show you now. As you already know, Whitfield told us that Halki diabetes remedy is the reason why Katy reversed her severe diabetes and became as healthy and fit as the time they first met. He even went ahead to provide a before-after photo of his wife as proof. Unfortunately for him, that photo doesn't belong to his wife, but to a woman named Christine W. In addition, this photo has been on the web since at least 2015, more than two years before Halki Diabetes Remedy was launched. On top of that, the woman didn't even say anything about having type 2 diabetes. 
Instead, she said she merely lost weight by walking and tracking her food intake. Okay, so this is someone who used another weight loss program to lose weight. And her name is Kristen, and she did not lose weight at all using healthy diabetes remedy. And she never said anything about having type 2 diabetes in the first place. I left a link to this uh, testimonial from Kristen W. And the original place where it was posted in the review okay so you can if you want to verify what i said you can go ahead and click on it but just know that it has been proven that Cathy is not the same as this woman okay this is not Cathy that we are looking at we're looking at another woman altogether if not for anything this should be the main reason why you should keep your distance from this product okay because it has been proven that the main testimonial is a stolen photo so moving forward now fake testimonials with stolen photo so it's the same thing Okay, and the summary of what I wrote here is that all the testimonials used, or most of them, that were used on Halki Diabetes Remedy were stolen from the same website this photo was stolen from. So they are all stolen photos. That's the summary of the whole thing. Okay, so now let's move to the fourth reason. This honestly misrepresents scientific research to sell scam. As you know already, the fake weight field claims that PM2.5 pollution is the root cause of diabetes, not genetics, diet, or hormonal imbalance. He then referenced the Washington State University research proving not only the former, but that PM2.5 pollution also caused all the 3.2 million new cases of diabetes recorded in 2017. Okay, now look at the facts, okay? So to start with, weight field is being dishonest. First, he claims that air pollution is the root cause of diabetes. Then he correctly quotes the scientific research that stated that air pollution is a risk factor for developing diabetes. However, that something is a risk factor for a disease does not mean that the said risk factor is the root cause of the disease. Again, that something is listed as a risk factor for a disease is not the same or does not mean that the said risk factor is the root cause of the disease. For example, now I give an example here. Age is a risk factor for developing Alzheimer's disease. But you cannot say that age is the root cause of Alzheimer's disease. Okay, so this is very dishonest, you know, twisting scientific research to sell this scam. So this scientific research said that they found that, you know, air pollution is linked to the development of type 2 diabetes. And then this guy just came out and said, yeah, that means that air pollution is the root cause of type 2 diabetes. That's not the same thing, okay? It's very, it's very dishonest thing to do. And this is just one problem with this scientific research he was quoting, and you'll see more right now. So moving towards the next point that he brought up, or the next claim that he made, concerning the 3.2 million diabetes cases, okay? Whitfield lied about that one too. First of all, the data was from 2016, not 2017. So it was saying that, you know, air pollution was responsible for all the 3.2 million cases of diabetes that was recorded in 2017. But the article he quoted, or the research paper he cited, was saying that this is actually a data from 2016. Okay. Secondly, the research article he referenced didn't say anything about those cases being the only new cases of diabetes recorded in 2017. So we're not just dealing with the situation where the scammer is claiming that the 3.2 million diabetes cases were recorded in 2017, but the reference article that he you know, used did not even say anything about those cases being the only new cases of diabetes recorded in 2016, which is the correct year. Okay, but he said 2017 which is already wrong, okay? And now, that's not just where it ends. Thirdly, the number is an estimate, not an actual absolute. The latter being the kind of data you need to make such a claim that Whitfield made in order to sell you his Alki diabetes scan. So if you remember again, he claimed that air pollution was responsible for all the 3.2 million diabetes cases recorded in 2017. But the article he quoted was saying that we are estimating this number. So, estimation is not the same as absolute number, okay? Which is what this Whitfield is trying to show us. And it still doesn't end there. In order to scare you even further, 
Whitfield showed us a graph purportedly showing us how insanely high the PM 2.5 pollution has increased in our atmosphere. Unfortunately for him, the graph is merely talking about CO2 levels, not PM 2.5 levels. Okay, so look at this graph. This is the graph that Eric Whitfield showed us in his presentation. So he was showing us that, okay, if you are looking at this time from 1751 and then towards the 1990s, and you can see the sharp increase. And now he's claiming that it is the graph of PM 2.5 levels over time. While the source of this graph, as you can see from my circling of this red uh, circle that I made, or red oval shape that I made here, you can see that this the source of this graph is Carbon Dioxide Informative Analysis Center. From you know, so which means that this is a graph of the carbon dioxide levels over time, not PM 2.5 levels over time. So that's already a misrepresentation of scientific data again. Okay, and to even make matters worse, PM 2.5, that is particulate matter 2.5, by definition is a combination of very small, almost invisible solid particles with liquid droplets. CO2 is just a gas. So why is Mr. Whitfield now telling us that CO2 is the same as PM2.5 by showing us this graph? So to even start with, PM2.5 is not really a gas, but a you know, combination of solids and liquids in tiny sizes. Okay, But CO2 is a pure gas, so you can't substitute the two. You can't say, oh, they are the same. Okay, And that's not just it now. Now let's look at the graph of the real PM2.5 levels. Let's see whether it is the same as CO2 levels okay, over time. And now we are at the United States Environmental Protection Agency. So this is uh, data from EPA. And here you can see the particulate matter PM2.5 trends. And as you can see from the graph, it is showing a steady decline over time. A steady decline over time. Maybe there's a slight increase at this you know, right now, but the overall trend is a decline okay and it's even below the national standard right now which means that the pm 2.5 air quality levels is not something of a concern right now because the, the united states which is the focus of this uh, how key diabetes remedy presentation is actually doing very well when it comes to controlling pm 2.5 air pollution levels you can see that it is way below national standard so him trying to scare us by telling us that, oh, look at what is happening, that we have this sharp increase of PM 2.5 levels. Well, actually, it's just uh, you know, a graph of CO2 levels that was recorded, you know, back in 2013. So it's actually an outdated information. It's outdated information already. Okay. So now you can see the problem that I have with this program. They are busy twisting scientific facts in order to make you spend your money on their product. So, looking at all these facts before me, there's no way you are going to tell me to recommend this program to anybody because I will not because I know that it is a scam and this is something that my conscience will not allow me to recommend to you even though everybody needs to make money. But this is not about money for me. This is about, you know, recommending something that you can use knowing that you actually are using something that will potentially help you. Not using something that is like... Uh, camouflaged under and, and coated under these lies, you know, these scientific lies and manipulation in you know, order to make you spend your money. So my final recommendation is to keep your distance from Halki Diabetes Remedy. It is a scam and nothing good will ever come out from it. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. I hope this video has been helpful for you. Please consider liking, sharing, subscribing to this channel and I'll see you in the next video. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.